you know what is a universal set a universal set is a set that contains all the elements under consideration relevant to a particular problem or discussion that is a parent set now we learn how to write sets inside universal sets let the universal set be the set of students in your classroom and now there is a set a of students who wear glasses and a set b of students who do not wear glasses so how will you represent it in this venn diagram this is the universal set this contains all the students of your class now set a is the set of students who wear glasses and set b is the set of students who do not wear glasses so you represented a set of students who wear glasses and a students who do not wear glasses inside your classroom now do it yourself here the universal set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is the natural numbers less than 8 now you have to represent set a of all odd numbers and set b of all even numbers in this set first of all let's write the set a of all odd numbers you can see in this set what is the odd numbers in the parent set 1 3 and what is the set b of all even numbers 2 4 6 now how will you represent this inside this universal set let's see set a is 1 3 5 and 7 so write it inside a and what is set b 2 4 and 6 so you can see that the universal set contains 1 3 5 7 2 4 and 6 so this is the universal set and we have separately marked set a and set b inside this universal set now let's take this example your universal set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is natural numbers less than 8 your a is 1 2 and 3 whereas b is 3 4 and 6 how will you make the venn diagram now a is 1 2 and 3 and b is 3 4 and 6 so you can see that 3 is the common element well in intersection of sets remember where do you write the common element in between now what are the other elements of a 1 and 2 and what are the other elements of b 4 and 6 okay now if you look closely you can see that all the elements of the universal set are not present in a and b like which one one is present two is present three is present 4 is present and 6 is present now what about 5 and 7 well these two numbers are not present in a and b both where will we write these two numbers you can write it anywhere inside this rectangle you can write it this side you can write it over here you can write it over here anywhere which you want not all these places obviously anywhere which you want inside the universal set but outside these circles these will denote these will denote that these numbers do not belong to set a or set b but are present inside the universal set now what about this your universal set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is natural numbers less than 8 your a is 1 2 3 5 and where b is a singleton set containing only one single element that is 3 now represent this data on the universal sets venn diagram what is set a 1 2 3 and 5 and you can see that b has the number 3 which is common to both set a and set b so is b the subset of a well yes b has the element that is totally inside a so b is the subset of a so we write here 3 now what other elements does a have 
2 and 5. So we write the elements of A. This is also an element of A which is shown by the subset B. Now, all the elements of A and B are present in the universal set, but you can see there are two more elements. Well, not two more, three more elements which are not there in set A or set B. Which are those elements? 4, 6 and 7. See, 1 is present, 2 is present, 3 is present and 5 is present. There is no sign of 4, 6 and 7 in set A or set B. So these are the elements which are present in the universal set but neither in A nor in B. So where will we write it? Just now I have told you, you can write it anywhere inside the white box. So write it 4, 6 and 7. So these numbers denote that they belong to the universal set but not inside A or inside B. Now let's take this example. Here the universal set is all vowels of English alphabet. You know all the vowels of English alphabet are what? Write it down. So what is universal set? A, E, I, O and U. Simple. What is set A? Set A denotes X such that X is a vowel in the word antique. Now which are the vowels you can see in this word antique? A, I, U and E. There are four vowels in this word. Write it down. A, I, U and E. Well, we can now represent this in the Venn diagram. What is A? A, I, U and E. Now you can see there is one letter which is not there in A. That is O. So you can write it anywhere inside the universal set. Let's write it here. So now the universal set denotes A, I, U, E and O. Whereas set A denotes only A, I, U and E. Now, if I ask you find intersection of set A and the universal set. You have already learnt intersection of sets in the previous lectures. What is intersection? Writing the intersection means writing these elements in a set which are present in both the sets or that belong to set A as well as the universal set. Now, which are the elements that belong to both set A and the universal set? Well, now this is easy for you. You can find it out. In the Venn diagram, you can see that A, I, U and E. These four vowels are present in set A as well as the universal set. Is O present in both the sets? No. O is present only in the universal set. O is not present in the set A. We have to write the intersection. That means elements which are present in both the sets. So you can say that these four alphabets are present in both set A and the universal set. Let's write it. Now do you notice one thing? This is giving us the set A itself. Well, that's common sense because we are writing the set A itself as the intersection. So, we conclude one thing that A intersection, the universal set will give us A itself because A is the daughter set of the parent set. A intersection, the universal set will give us A itself. Now, what about A union, the universal set? Now what is union of sets? Writing the elements that is present in set A or the universal set or both. Writing all the elements together. Write it from the Venn diagram. So write, when we write union, we will write the set of elements present in set A first. A, I, U and E. 
and then we have to do the union with this that is the universal set so write the elements of universal set also the universal set contains a i u e and one more letter which is o so we have done correctly the universal of set a and the universal set that is a i u e and o these are all the letters that is present in a or in the universal set now if you look closely you will see that all these letters belong to the universal set see this is same only the order is different and we do not consider order significant in sets so what do we conclude a union universal set will give us the universal set itself look at this this plus this will give us this whole universal set that is what we are telling you here that set a which is contained inside the universal set when both of these you get united or we do a union with the universal set we will get the universal set itself that is the outer part which has all the elements so what did we learn today a union the universal set will give us the universal set that is the parent set and a intersection with the universal set will give us a itself that is the daughter set